Yo, what's up guys? It's me back here with another scratch tutorial and in today's video We're gonna be learning how to make an RPG game on scratch. So First off what we're gonna do is create our empty project and we're gonna delete scratch cat and paint a new sprite call it player And then we're just gonna like draw a player real quick Okay, so I have our little player here and I'm gonna name the costume idle okay i'm going to right click duplicate name the costume walk and this is going to be like our little walk animation so i'm just going to keep this the same then duplicate it call it walk 2 and i'm going to just select it and shrink it down a little bit so now he's going to look like yeah so now inside of our uh script what we're gonna do is when green fly click hide and then broadcast message start start game okay and then what we're gonna do is when i receive start game uh show go to zero zero um set rotation style left right uh, set size to let's say 70 let's see how that looks that looks good that's that's good size for a player and then I'm gonna make a variable uh, call it player speed okay and I'm gonna set player speed to like four okay I'm gonna do forever and then if uh, put an or and then put key if key D or key right arrow pressed then we're gonna change X by player speed I'm gonna duplicate that and then do if key left arrow or key a pressed they're gonna change X by player speed multiplied by negative one so it goes in the opposite direction and then I'm going to duplicate both of these and then just do if key up arrow pressed or key W pressed then we're going to change Y by player speed and then over here it's going to be if yeah, key yes. S pressed or key down arrow pressed then we're gonna change Y by player speed times negative one so now if we run it uh, our player can move around using WASD or arrow keys which is nice okay um and now let's actually make some animations okay wait before that let's do over here we're gonna point in direction 90 when key right arrow pressed and point in direction negative 90 when key left arrow pressed so if you run it now he can he looks where we're going okay so now what we're gonna do is another when I receive start game um, let's make a variable call it walk speed and we're gonna set walk speed to let's say 0 0.2 and now we're gonna do forever and then if else and then we're just gonna take this right here if that key is pressed then we're gonna switch costume to walk and then we're gonna wait walk speed seconds we're gonna switch costume to walk to and wait walk speed seconds and in the else, we're just gonna switch costume to idle. Okay, now we just duplicate this, get rid of that, and then put that there, and then duplicate this, and then we're just gonna put up arrow key or W, and then duplicate that again, and then we're just gonna put down arrow key or S. And now, with that, our player has a walk animation when he walks. 
which is nice. I think that looks, I think it looks pretty nice. Okay. So now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and create two variables. So we're going to make a variable called scroll X and then we're going to make a variable called scroll Y. And what we're going to do is do a when I receive start game start game we're gonna set scroll x to zero and we're gonna set scroll y to zero now what we're gonna do is do a forever and then if uh put a less than and then put x position so if x position is less than negative 230 because we're gonna make it so that if he goes off screen, it'll change to a different um, background. So it'll look like he's moving through the world. So we're just gonna, if it's less than negative 230, we're gonna go to X 230 and Y position. And then we're gonna change scroll X by negative one. And then if, we're gonna do if, scroll X. Okay, so we're gonna put a greater than. And then we're gonna do if scroll X is greater than one. So we're gonna change scroll X by negative one. And then we're gonna duplicate that. And then put a less than. And do if scroll X is less than negative one. Then we're gonna change scroll X by one. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it so that we infinitely can't keep going to the left. Okay. Now we're going to just duplicate this entire thing. But what we're going to do is put a greater than instead of a less than. So if X position is greater than 230, then we're going to go to negative 230. And change scroll x by positive one okay and now we're just going to duplicate this again but we're going to do less than and y position this is going to be for up and down so let's do if y position is less than uh negative 170 that's usually a good number then we're going to go to x position and y 170 Change scroll Y by negative 1. Change all of this to scroll Y. Okay. So. Uh, that is looking good. And now we just duplicate this. And do if Y position is greater than. If Y position is greater than 170. Then we're going to go to. Oh wait, we're going to go to X position, Y negative 170, and change scroll Y by 1. Okay, so with all of this, now what will happen is if you look at a scroll X and scroll Y here, if we move up, it'll change scroll by Y1, but if we keep going, it won't do anything. Um, yeah, and if we go down, it'll move by negative 1, and you can see our player is also switching sides so if, our, if we change our background it'll look like he's moving through the world okay so um now what we can do is go into our backdrops okay call this background zero zero okay so zero zero is going to be the center of our world okay this is going to be where the player spawns so let's just go ahead and make this like a grassy area just green okay so just like a little green area and now if we duplicate this and call this um let's say negative one zero okay so what this is gonna do is our scroll x and scroll y it's gonna combine those two. So if our scroll X is negative one here and our scroll Y is zero, it's gonna combine them and make this. 
and let's say we add like a little pond or something here and then I fill it in inside of our backdrop we're gonna do one green flag clicked forever switch backdrop to and then let's join scroll X and scroll Y okay so now if we do it okay our player starts at zero zero but if we keep going okay now if we go to the left he's at the part with the pond and if we go up that is negative one one so if we duplicate it negative one one and make this like I don't know some like, let's say like a purple pond just for testing so now we have blue our blue pond here then we go up and then we have our purple pond and like this we can just move throughout our world this gives the illusion of moving through our world. so there should be nine yeah there should be nine uh, backgrounds here so this is zero zero this is just our beginning thing um we're gonna have one called negative one zero we're gonna have one called negative one one oh uh, we're gonna have one called zero negative one we're gonna have one called negative one negative one we're gonna have one called one negative one uh we're gonna have one called one zero we're gonna have one called uh one one and we're gonna have one called zero one okay so we should just have nine cause nine background called zero zero negative one zero negative one one zero negative one negative one negative one negative one one zero one one zero one so what this does is this is basically our world okay we have nine costumes that we can move between but there is an issue so if i just real quick uh draw out my world okay so um i made all my backdrops okay and each one connects to the next one so i just have all of these backdrops and in the world uh they all look like they connect so it looks like it's one big path that just connects back into each other so after you have your entire world make a sprite call barrier and inside of barrier yeah, sort of like a, it's like a boundary box so we can't leave the world and we're gonna call this top now we're gonna duplicate it call this bottom and then just put it at the bottom duplicate it call this right um i'm gonna flip it move it to the right duplicate it call this left move it to the left duplicate this and then call this let's say bottom right and this is bottom right so that would go here copy paste and move that make it like that so th this is the bottom right of the world duplicate this call this bottom left and this is the bottom left of the world so we're gonna move this to the left and then duplicate it call this top right this is the top right of the world so the top and then to the right duplicate it call it top left So we have a border for the top of our world, for the bottom of our world, for the right, for the left, and then for all of the corner corners of our world. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do when I when you like clicked, hide. When I receive start game, uh set size to 100, go to zero zero, and we're gonna do forever if and then equals to and then we're gonna do if backdrop name is equal to zero one then we're gonna switch costume to top and 
show. And now I'm gonna duplicate this. And then I have to, if a uh, backdrop name is equal to negative one zero, switch it to left, oh, left, duplicate. If it's equal to negative one one, switch costume to left corner. Uh, so bottom left. Um, and then we're gonna do zero, negative one. That's just gonna be bottom. Duplicate. If it's equal to one, negative one. Switch costume to bottom right. Duplicate. Negative one, negative one. That's. Oh, wait, that's bottom left. This is gonna be just, this is top left. Duplicate this and then do if, um, and then we're gonna do one, one. Switch costume to top right. So, and then we're also gonna have to do a when green flag click, or when I receive start game, forever if backdrop name is equal to zero, zero, then we're gonna have to hide. Okay, so boom. It's hidden, we go up. Okay, that's our border. That is our border, border. Okay, so you can see we have a, like a boundary. So we can't leave our world. Oh, but for one zero, that's not right. Oh, I didn't add one for one zero. Okay, so we should duplicate this and do if it's equal to 10, and we're gonna switch it to right. Okay, boom. So now we have our boundary, but like it doesn't really work, you know? can still just like walk past it so what we have to do is in the player let's go ahead and add a inside of our we're gonna do if touching barrier they're gonna change x by player speed times negative one duplicate this and then change it to change x by just player speed and then just duplicate these now oh wait oh but this needs to be change y okay so this is the final script for now and now if we go and try to touch the border, we won't be able to go past it. So that's fine. That's great. So we can't leave our world. Um, yeah, so you guys can customize this world to your liking. I just have a little path for now. Um, we'll probably build on it later. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, peace out.